Super, wait! Don't do this! Turn back! This is not a motel. This is a shit-stained store brand portal to hell. Imagine you have a six-year-old son, and he wants to build his own little hotel using only upside-down scenes from VHS recordings of Wizards of Waverly Place's reference. Now imagine that's the Hyatt. And the motel I'm talking about is about nine of Dante's rings lower. This is the tenth fucking ring of hell. In the lobby, you are greeted by a metrosexual cardboard cutout of Gandalf the Grey and an 8x6-foot flat-screen TV which continuously plays infomercials hand-picked by Anthony Sullivan himself. At the counter, after producing five or six driver's licenses, you are entitled to a complimentary glazed hockey puck and a fresh cup of Howie Mandel's bathwater. You will then take the hastily carpeted stairs up to the smoke-infused promised land. Elevators and non-smoking rooms are a myth. The second floor hallway is carpeted as well, boasting enormous bumps and rumples in the regular three-foot intervals. When at last you gloriously slide your room key into the door, shoving the plywood portal aside as you stride into your well-earned cubicle of comfort, the rancid stench of cigarette smoke raunchily climbs up your nostrils and has its violent, dirty way with your senses. You stuff boxer shorts up your nose that night. Doesn't help. You loosen your belt, unpack your bags, and then this shit happens. You find a noodle on your pillowcase. Maybe ramen? Hard to tell. All the outlets bend your prongs, and half of them don't even work. The soap is made of fingernail dirt harvested from hands of unemployed Kentucky coal miners. The microwave clock is broken. Maybe it's always 11.34. That's hell! That's hell upside down! You reset the clock and it reverts back to 11.34. It never changes, besides briefly displaying 11.37, or LEL. At this point, you call your mother. She doesn't answer. From the window, you sometimes see all the cars in the parking lot turn their lights off in unison. The drivers are nowhere to be seen. I'm not saying that the room is a fire hazard, but there are two horizontal sprinklers mounted on the wall pointed directly at your bed. There's a shit stain on the wall, a good six inches above the altitude of the average human anus. The TV works. There are bugs in the bed, bugs in the bathroom, bugs on the floor. There's a whole fucking bug clan, like a thriving society of bugs. A whole hive cluster. Three out of five.